welcome to all the classic car enthusiasts. Uh, this is not related to classic, well it is related to classic cars in, in the fact that I'm trying to move bodies and bits and pieces backwards and forwards from this main garage up here down to the bottom of the garden which is quite steep. The biggest problem is, is uh, the tractor I have, it's a little ride on mower and that's what it's meant for. It's meant for cutting grass, it's not meant for hauling things. Um, so anything uh, the slightest bit heavier than a mini shell, even that when it's wet we just can't drag it up. Um, this is one of the reasons we're making the road, um, but I need something with a bit more power and this is where the Volkswagen comes in, this is where the, the Synchro comes in. What it means now is we have to build a hole back for it and it occurred to me that I have a car trailer with a stainless steel deck and, and a frame on it which actually comes off the main uh, uh, chassis of the trailer itself and I thought well why not you know, use that, well, why not adapt it because I don't need the trailer and that at the same time and as long as we can get it to a point where it's easy to move over which I can't see how it won't be and also this trailer, this car trailer I have as a, as a hydraulic ram which we use once maybe twice a year and because I have the hydraulic motor and I have the 12 volt battery system and, a, and a, a remote, it's not a remote control but it's a remote on a cable so it goes up and down and I think I can adapt it to fit onto the Volkswagen and we know everything goes on to this trailer because we've taken it backwards and forwards from either England or uh, Vienna, Stockholm, wherever, all over the place. I've picked up cars from all over the place with it. So um, the idea kind of came up to me from, from an oil field um, truck called a bed truck. They also use them as pole trucks and this is where they have two like uh, triangular pieces and they use it for moving stuff around. But on the back of these bed trucks, which we used all over the world, Indonesia, well, you name it, spread away everywhere, apart from South America and North America, um, the, they have a huge roller on the back, and, and whatever the thing is they're picking up has a huge skid on it, and it's pulled up with, a, with a, a very heavy winch. And in fact, it pulls, sucks the truck under, they call them suck trucks as well. Um, and, and basically, it rolls it up onto the top. And all we need is basically something that we can move from here to down there or, or around the local area. It's not, it's not going on the main roads, so it doesn't have to be uh, super uh, um, engineered. It just has to, be, has to work. So I thought rather than go to the expense of building a whole new bed, why not use this trailer? And I've, as I say, I've done some, uh, some check-in and I, I don't see any reason why we can't use it. So I hope you'll look in in the next week or so because... What I intend to do is make two rails for for the Volkswagen, and then use this back, uh, the back of the trailer, and use it and suck it up onto it. But use the hydraulic ram. So basically, if you had the flatbed here, you would use the hydraulic hydraulic ram to push it off the back, and it would tilt at an angle. Put your gear on it, secure it, pull it back, just like a bed truck. Except just instead of a winch, it'll have a hydraulic ram or an extension ram, whichever. So. I hope you enjoy it. This is just uh, what I'm basically doing is showing you where the issues are, what the problems we've got here, <clears throat> and why I've gone to what would go to the bother of spending three or four days or a week making this uh, four wheel drive come garden buggy. So uh, I won't do an outro, so as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. Catch you soon. Bye. Yes, this is not about classic cars, but a little a coming plan I had. This is Sammy. Stella! There she is. Little bugger. Stella! Stella! Come here! Stella! 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 Come on! You! Oh. Yes! 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 She's a little sweetheart, but she's a puppy and she's biting things, unfortunately. So, um, the reason I put up the video. Okay, so. Uh, the guys that watch watching regularly know that I'm making this Volkswagen uh, Synchro with a flat back on it so we can transport engines, bits and pieces up and down to the workshop that's underneath that pergola there. And uh, what we're going to do is we've dug the hole, that's got to be, oh that's got to be widened a little bit. Oh, these were some uh, golf ball things and stuff I got from from uh, where I get that? Libya, I think they were. I think Trail One is uh, French. So, this is what we're going to use. 
quite heavy. Um, and obviously what they're going to do first is they're going to put, they're going to recut it again, uh, put some heavy um, stone, real heavy, uh, not rock, but stone in the bottom for drainage, and then they'll put pea stone in. Um, this is like like grey stuff, and then they'll use a, a road roller um, or a compactor to compact it, and then these will be laid across. So that granite one there, and the one at the back there, this is going to go. Sam, he would stood there. That's going to go down the side. So we'll end up with a granite one, two, three, four, five of them, and then they'll have grass put in them later, half shot and half earth, and they'll go all the way down to here. So, the, yes, I have the car trailer, uh, and I use that quite a lot, but um, it's quite difficult to get that trailer into here um, because uh, of the way, the way it is. It's quite a long trailer, and getting up that steep drive, going around a corner, is difficult. So, um, and obviously it means reversing it into here. Every time we take something down... Uh, the biggest, the reason, the main reason we want to do this road bit is because um, if it rains even a little bit, even in the summer, the the trailers, um, well not the trailer, but uh, the car and the little tractor, which really can only take up a small load anyway, a, a mini shell is about as maximum, and even that you have to push on it, so it really hasn't got the strength. So the idea is we'll use that Volkswagen with a flatbed on it um, to move all the stuff around uh, that's taking stuff backwards and forwards and you know it's not it'll be used as well for the garden a lot so the idea eventually here is all this will be uh, stone in here the same flat paving we've got in there and that garage you can see there will be double the size so where that stick is sticking up on the left here is where the next garage will go in we're just waiting for planning permission now. Uh, so the idea is to make that Volkswagen Synchro, the four-wheel drive, usable for this. We use that little mini trailer there with a the tractor, but for light stuff, anything, you know, anything that's a little bit on the heavy side, it just won't, as I say, it'll barely lift a, a shell, and, and two guys can lift a shell easily. Um, but getting it up this gradient is, is uh, was a bit much. So, what I'll do is I'll take you through the other side and, and show you another reason why I want to make up this um, this uh, Volkswagen with a flatbed on it. For a start off it's four wheel drive so that means in the wet it's going to be usable. Um, and uh, at the moment there's nothing much in here. We're using it for sandblasting at the moment. But this will be where this will be cleaned out, and this is oh, it's not, not for eight. It's focusing now. It's where we do the sandblasting of the shells and things, like that, and that's the sandblasting cover that I made up. It was a Clark one, and I just doubled the size of it for E-type doors. So this is where the booth will go eventually. The, the, this booth that's collapsible, the spray booth will go in there, and then this will be twice as long, so it'll be 16 meters long. Basically, as I said to that where that stick is there and then these doors will come off and go on the front so you can go right the way through but there's a little ante room where it's just for mixing up paints and stuff so this is just uh, was put on the side afterwards and then right at the back here we have another piece um ah yeah and wheels are still covered up I have a couple of bogies here, which I'm going to make a, a, a gypsy caravan, or a miniature gypsy caravan out of. So we have this piece here, and it's very difficult to get the trailer down here. Uh, basically because there's no turning room. If you take the trailer and the car, uh, there's no, there's no, you can't turn the car. One, one piece vehicle, you can get it down here easily. Um, and as I say, unfortunately, the tractor has its limitations. So this is a, a compost heap that we have here, that we made up. And you can see where the problem is here. This is where the main problem is. is that is very, very narrow. So it's easy to back up, to, but to get round this small piece here, 
there's just no room to turn the car. You can't get enough angle on the car to, to, to get it down. It's extremely difficult. And this is why we want to make the uh, this is why we want to make the Volkswagen as a uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, what do you want to call it? I don't know. Uh, uh, a garden buggy, I suppose. Anyway, I'll catch you in a minute. And I'll bring you the rest of the story. Yeah. So as you can see, we've got a reasonably large garden. It's about. 4,000 square metres, I guess, something like that. And most of it's taken up with this natural pool, um, which is three metres deep. And uh, so there's always a lot of work to do, a lot, a lot of stuff to take away and, and move around, and uh, especially furniture in the winter and the summer. For those of you just watching in, this is a half a Mini Cooper. So we've got two and a half Minis. No, no, four and a half now. <laughs> With the two over at the friends. Uh, this is basically a, a, a bar, a mini bar. This is all gone in the garage eventually. This car, the table tennis, the football, or the table football, tish football, tish football, I think they call it in German. So basically, what you do is you just open this up. <laughs> you can see and there's a fridge goes in this side and I'll just black the windows out that back when I painted which I'm going to do with the side Sammy can you come out the fridge is up in the garage I've got a red classic fridge that goes with it and uh, yeah it'll go up against the wall in the garage once it's all cleaned out so we can have like a little boys room there so yeah that's it I'll show you the next bit of the plan, or well, the cunning plan. The last part of the cunning plan, as Baldrick would say, is uh, this trailer, this uh, anhanger. Um, it's got a hydraulic ram underneath it and we use it for getting rid of garden stuff and, and it's really handy. But we only use it maybe once, twice a year tops with a hydraulic ram. I have all the hydraulic pump and motor and everything for it and it runs off a 12 volt battery. So, what I'm thinking is, I've done a little, bit of looking around, and that back, without the sides on it, even with the sides on it, will still work. But that will fit on the back of the VW. And the thing is, is that body, or that trailer bed, actually comes off. There's actually only four pit apart from the hydraulic ram, which is in the centre. The idea is it can tilt left or right or straight back. It's on like a a gimbal like a swivel with four bolts so that's the only thing that's attaching it apart from these four here you basically if you want to tilt it to the left you take the two, these two out and it tilts left and obviously you want to tilt it the other way you do the opposite so the only thing it's certainly on is that there's the there's balls in here um metal balls and that's what's holding it on so basically that's the only thing that holds that trailer tray on so there's absolutely no reason why I couldn't modify the Volkswagen to accept the back of that. And instead of tilting it, I'll use the ram to push it on and off. So basically what would happen is, is it goes onto the Volkswagen, if you like. Imagine this is the Volkswagen wheel. And you could actually push it off with a ram so it would drop down at an angle and we can load stuff on it and then pull it back up when we want to move it across the road or wherever. It's, the, the Volkswagen's not going on the road, I wish it was, but it isn't. So that's the plan, and I'm going to talk with uh, Amir when he gets here tomorrow and see what he reckons. I th but I think, it's a, I think it'll win, I think it'll work. Because I've got everything, it's got all the tie-down straps in it. I even got these from the scrapyard to um, uh, to make it easier for the wheels and all the tie downs are there as you can see basically all it means is pulling it onto the onto the uh, Volkswagen from the back here doesn't really matter because the, the I wouldn't put the sides on it anyway and this is all stainless steel so it doesn't rust um, and I think that will go on the Volkswagen it should theoretically probably end up about yeah, I would think where that where that back wheel is is about where the back wheel should be, so there'd be that much overhang on it. But we're talking about taking it from here to down there and 
Oh, possibly up going up here maybe if we, if we, meet, if we uh, decide to put something up there anyway so that's the plan so uh, yeah let me know what you think